in this video we will be covering substitution effect and income effect so basically when price of a good changes the slope of budget constraint also changes basically the equation of budget constraint as we know is something like this px into x plus py into y is equal to i actually it's less than equal to i this is budget constraint so if suppose price of any good will change the this equation will also change and as we know the slope is p x divided by p y so if suppose price will change suppose p x will change the slope will change so if there is change in price of a good the budget constraint slope will also change now this change in price will lead to two effects substitution effect and income effect so these are part of the total effect of price so price effect is sum of substitution effect and income effect now if the individual remains on the same indifference curve after the change in price it is substitution effect and if the price change alters the indifference curve then it is income effect so in income effect we have a new indifference curve and substitution effect basically result in movement along the same indifference curve suppose we have this good x and a good y and consumer is initially maximizing the utility at point a as shown in the figure this is the initial point now if price of good x will fall the consumer will maximize utility at b so we can see as price of x is falling consumer is now able to purchase more of x the budget line has shifted on the x axis so now he can buy more good x so let us isolate the two effect the substitution effect and income effect so if we will see substitution effect we will assume that real income is constant though a change in price will change real income but for substitution effect i am assuming that real income is constant and we will allow the relative price to change so substitution effect is the movement from point a to point c now at point c there is this budget line this this new line see so as we have assumed that the price of good x has fallen so this pink line is another budget line basically we usually do not use this line it is kind of imaginary line so the slope is px by py so if px is falling then slope will fall so as we can see the pink line is flatter as compared to original line because due to fall in price of x the slope has reduced so the line is comparatively flatter and now we are maximizing utility at point c this is not the whole effect this is just substitution effect so this is one part of price effect so under substitution effect we have moved from a to c and the slope of budget line has changed now for income effect okay we will draw a line parallel to this pink line so the new line this line is basically parallel to the pink line this means that slope of these two lines is same so now we'll see the income effect so earlier i assumed that real income is constant and just focused on substitution effect for income effect i'll drop that assumption and now real income will change so the budget line has changed we are on new budget line a new indifference curve and a new utility maximization point that is b so the total 
ट्राइज इफेक्ट टू कस ऑन पॉइंट टू कस टू पॉइंट बी सो इनिशियली वी वर ऑन पॉइंट ए द प्राइज ऑफ वुड एक्स ड्रॉप्ड द बजट लाइन शिफ्टेड एंड वी फर्स्ट मूव फ्रॉम ए टू सी देन फ्रॉम सी टू बी सो ए टू सी इज सब्सटीट्यूशन इफेक्ट एंड सी टू बी इज इनकम इफेक्ट सो दीज टू इफेक्ट मेक द टोटल प्राइज इफेक्ट so this was a short video on income effect and price effect in case you have not understood anything you can ask in comments